Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be upcycling um, a vintage jewelry box that I purchased at uh, Fuller's Flea Market. So this is the jewelry box. You will probably remember it from um, my thrift haul video. And uh, I, I'm gonna update this and I'm gonna make it really, really uh, beautiful, sort of like a shabby chic um, look. So, unfortunately, uh, the handles on these drawers, they're put in with little nails, and I, I'm afraid to pry them out because I don't want to further damage the wood on the drawers. So, I'm just going to try and paint around those. Um, we'll see how it goes. I just, you know, it, it makes me a little nervous. Oh, look at that. That one popped right off because it was loose. And I lost um, the nail. <laughs> but I did get that one off. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. If I can get these out without damaging the wood on the drawers, I definitely will because it'll make it much easier when I'm trying to paint this. And I'm also going to take off the doors because those are just flathead screws. So I'll be able to take the drawers off um, as well. So uh, I will get you guys turned down here and I will show you what I'm gonna do. Alrighty, so I have everything dismantled and now I'm going to begin painting this uh, jewelry box. I am using uh, Waverly uh, chalk paint in the color plaster. It's a very, very pale shade of ivory um, and I love this color and um, you can get it at Walmart or you can get it on Amazon, either or. So I was trying to decide whether or not I want to paint the inside of these drawers. And I, I'm just not sure if I want to or not. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I am going to just start with uh, the back of this. I'm going to lay it like this and just start painting away. Um, I am going to speed this up like I did with uh, the dismantling of the drawers and whatnot because everybody knows how to paint, right? I mean, I can, I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start with um, this part first. I know you can't see down here, this border part, and then I'll do well, actually, I'm going to do along the insides first. So, like, see where I'm going with that? <laughs> And then I just make sure I spread out any globs that I might have. 
I know it's hard for you guys to see, but you get the idea, right? All right, we're gonna speed this up just a tad. <laughs> Okay, so here's the back. That's just one coat. I'm gonna have to do probably, obviously, uh, two coats on here. Um, but let me just say, the reason I love chalk paint is because it covers pretty much everything without having to put any primer on it. Um, so yes, I will have to put a couple coats on here, but that's no biggie. So I'm going to continue to paint this. So to do these doors, I'm going to put some painter's tape on both sides so I don't get um, any paint on the, um, the mesh. So I have my painter's tape here and I should have brought out a pair of scissors so I could cut this straight. And I do have some. It always helps to have a straight edge when you're taping things off. Or as straight as you can get. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell me you're not going to stick to this. Oh, come on. There we go. Well, you know, that's as good as it's going to get. Now I'll do this other piece. You just want to make sure that you don't have the tape like on the wood that you're painting. I should have brought out an X-Acto knife to cut this, but I did not. So the struggle is real. <laughs> All right, so that's one side. So I'm gonna finish taping these off and then I'll be back and start painting them. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, so today I am going to finish filming the video on the jewelry box uh, upcycle. Uh, I have um, painted everything and I have um, done some distressing with some sandpaper uh, to make it look like shabby chic, you know, kind of like worn. And, uh, the final step is going to be adding these awesome, um, rub-on transfers that I purchased on Amazon. Um, I will try and remember, because you know how I am, to link, um, these in my description box but I have gotten um, these three uh, sheets of rub-on transfers that I am going to add to this. 
Um, so let me um, wipe everything off um, after sanding. Um, actually, I will show you. I just uh, I have this sanding block. I don't really know. It's a medium grade sanding block. And let me turn you down and I'll show you here. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think I need to get myself a new, um, sorry guys, I know I'm making you dizzy, a new uh, tripod. Um, so what I did is like on the edges and stuff, I just took the sanding block and gave it a white sand until I you could see the wood from underneath. Um, basically, that is all I did. Um, so once you do that, you want to wipe this all down so that it's free of dust. So I'm just going to take... Um, you know, a hand wipe here. And I'm just going to wipe all of the dust off of here. Um, for right now, I'm just going to show you guys um, the top portion that I um, put these on. This I already wiped off, but you definitely want to make sure that this is nice and clean and no dust. So, these are very easy to use. Um, I just love them. So, I have chosen, um, I want to use this one here um, on, the, on the top, like uh, kind of like, off to the corner here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this, cut this away from the rest of these with some scissors. So let me just cut around here. I know you can't really see what I'm doing here. I have a terrible setup for doing crafts. I'm down in my, my little craft room right now, which is a hot mess. All right, so I have cut this away from the other transfers. And I'm just going to kind of see, you know, how I want to put this on here. Um, I, I'm not sure how I want to put it. Do I want to put it like in the corner? Yeah, I think maybe I'll do that. I think I'll kind of, let me turn you up a little bit. Yeah, see, I'm going to put it in this corner. So maybe what I can do is, maybe I can turn this this way so you can get a better look. There we go. Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to peel this off of the backing but make sure you have it exactly where you want it because it is sticky. And once it touches down, it's a done deal. <laughs> so, um, and it also comes with this, it comes with this little stick uh, to, to rub it on. I don't really like this. Um, I have one of these that I bought at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to use this. All right, so let me peel this off. See, it just peels right off of this backing. So, like I said, you want to make sure you have it exactly where you want it. Okay, and then you just kind of... And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to... I'm going to rub it. Make sure that it's... It's on there really good. So what you do is you will pick up <coughs> a corner. If I can get it. I have no nails. <laughs> oh my God, I had it. Okay. And you're going to lift it very slowly because you want to make sure everything has transferred. 
Okay, see the end of this did not come off. So I got to make sure. You definitely want to do this very slowly and make sure everything has transferred. I'm just going to keep going over this really, really well. Even pressure. All right, let's see. All right, let's see here. All right. And you're just, you're going to pull it very slowly. Maybe this is not working, this thing. I don't know. See, see where it's still stuck on the paper here? All right, let's go back to this. Let's try this instead. Maybe I should just use the tools they supplied me with. You could see, you see the difference in the color here, guys? Can you see where this whole side is lighter in color? Probably not. But, yeah. I almost put the end of my tripod in my coffee cup. All right, let's see if this is any better. Yeah, I guess I should uh, use the tools they gave me. You can tell when you're rubbing this that it's transferring it's a little bit of work but it is so so worth it guys Oh, there it is. All right. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be just gorgeous. All right. So, I've got that on the one corner. Um, I'm trying to figure out. I think I might add this rose over here in the opposite corner. Um, so let me see. I don't know. There's, there's so many things to choose from. Um, we also have leaves and stuff, which I'm going to incorporate leaves and buds, single, um, roses. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to put there. I'm definitely leaning towards this pretty pink one. This one so here. So I'm going to um, cut this off of here. Okay. So I'm thinking I might do this. Like that, maybe. Okay, yeah. All right, so let's peel this off. Get it to where... I'm, I'm going to have the leaves kind of going a little off to the, to the side. Onto the edge. See how I have them coming over the edge here? All right. We're going to rub a dub dub. Woo, sorry about that. That's like nails on a chalkboard.
Oh, look at that. Oh, how pretty. Um, all right, let me see here. Now, I would like to, I would kind of like to incorporate um, this somehow. Whoops, it fell right off the backing paper. Um, this branch of uh, leaves, and I'm kind of thinking... I don't know. Do I want to put them maybe on the side? I could put it on the side. Kind of. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, let me play around with this. Um, you get the idea of what we're going for here. So once I finish putting all my transfers on, uh, I'll be back. Ow. All right, guys. Well, this is almost finished. Uh, let me just show you the front here. Uh, I love these rub-on transfers. You can bring an upcycled item like to the next level with these gorgeous rub-on transfers. Here is the top. Oh my God, I just love these rub-on transfers. Um, so basically, once you put your transfers on where you want them, the last step uh, to protect them, you can either put um, a coat of Mod Podge on them, I would suggest using um, a matte finish Mod, po Mod Podge instead of a gloss um, if you want that more shabby chic look. Or what I'm going to do is, pardon me, I am going to use this Waverly Chalk Paint Wax. It's a clear wax, and I will show you how we're going to um, put this wax on. So I shook it up really well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a soft rag. In my case, I have um, a piece of flannel shirt. And I'm just going to dip it into the cap. Okay. And then we're just going to very lightly, we are going to rub it on. Hang on, guys. My shirt's falling off my hand. <laughs> and it gives it um, a nice uh, light sheen. And it protects your transfers and your painted surface. Okay? And you're going to do this on the whole piece. The whole entire piece. So that it is protected. So, um, this item I will be selling in a live sale at some point as an offer up item. So, you will see the completed piece. I still have some fine tuning to do. I have to get the paint off of here, off of my knobs. You could see, you know, I got it on there. So I got to get that off. Um, I still have to put a second coat of chalk paint on the underside, on the bottom. But for the most part, it's almost completed. So as you can see, you can buy an item like this jewelry box and just take it to the next level with some chalk paint and some rub-on transfers. I hope you guys enjoyed this upcycle video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, don't forget to leave your comments. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.